Hello everyone, welcome to RJ Special Techno channel. In the previous session, we explored buffer and intersection analysis using the WPS request builder. In this session, we will focus on within contains and query analysis in Joe server. For more information, watch the rest of this video. Within analysis. The within analysis in Joe Special Information Systems or GIS is a special technique used to determine whether geographic features are contained within specific boundaries. This analysis often uses point, line, or polygon data to reveal important relationships between different special data sets. For example, employing a within analysis can assess whether hazardous waste sites are situated within designated environmental protection zones. Understanding these special relationships is critical in applications such as urban planning, environmental management, and public health where informed decision-making is essential. In Joe Server, the Within Analysis is a feature of the Web Processing Service or WPS extension which offers a standardized interface for a variety of Joe Special Processing algorithms. To use this operation, navigate to the Demo section and select WPS Request Builder. In the Choose Process drop-down, select JTS column within to determine whether one geometric object is specially contained within another. This function leverages the Java Topology Suite or JTS library, empowering users to perform detailed special analysis on geographic features. When using this function, you will need to provide two input geometries. The first one or geometry A is the geometry you want to check for containment. It can be a point, line, or polygon typically provided in WKT format. For example, The second is the reference geometry against which the first geometry is checked. We also use the WKT format for this input geometry. Make sure that both geometries have the same coordinate reference system or CRS. Different CRSs can lead to erroneous results. The output of this operation is a Boolean value indicating whether geometry A is completely inside geometry B. Press the execute process in new page button. As you can see, the result is true, which means that geometry A is inside geometry B. To view these geometry features on the map, navigate to the wktmap.com and input the geometries in the WKT text box. You will see that the linear feature is inside the polygon feature. Contains analysis. The contains analysis in GIS is a special relationship that evaluates whether one geometric feature completely encloses or encompasses another geometric feature. This analysis is a fundamental special operation for a wide array of applications across diverse fields, making it an integral part of special analysis and geographic research. For instance, when analyzing land use, a city boundary may contain various neighborhoods 
parks and commercial districts, meaning that these areas fall entirely within the city limits. This analysis allows urban planners to assess the interactions between various land uses, ensuring efficient allocation of essential services like waste management and public transportation within the city's boundaries. In your server's web processing service, the JTS column contains operation is used to determine whether one geometry completely contains another. The key inputs required for this operation are first geometry or container. This geometry is expected to contain the second geometry. It's usually specified as a polygon or multi-polygon in WKT format. Enter the geometry data as shown on the screen. Second geometry or content. This is the geometry you want to evaluate in relationship to the first geometry. The input geometry can be a point, line, or polygon. Please enter the geometry data in WKT format. The outcome of the JTS column contains operation indicates whether the first geometry completely contains the second geometry represented as a Boolean result. Press the Execute Process in New Page button. The result is false indicating that geometry A does not encompass geometry B. Go back to WKTMap.com and enter the input geometries in the WKT text box. As you can see, the point feature is outside the polygon feature. Query analysis. The query operation in Joe server provides a powerful method for extracting and analyzing special features from a data source based on a specified criteria. Users can perform special queries to retrieve features that meet different conditions including geometric relationships such as intersections or contents and attribute filtering such as specific property values. This operation can be used in various fields and applications to efficiently obtain relevant special data for decision-making, analysis, and manipulation. For example, farmers can use special queries to get information about crop health and soil moisture at specific locations. This helps them make better decisions about irrigation and fertilization. Similarly, after disaster, analysts can use special queries to assess damage in affected areas, facilitating inform recovery planning and efforts. Select the GS column query in the Choose Process section. This operation falls under the GS and VEC categories. Unlike the JTS and GEO categories, which don't encompass this specific operation, the GS and VEC categories are designed to handle vector data and geographic queries effectively. For more information on these categories and their functionalities, refer to the link provided above. The GS column query operation requires three main inputs, features, attributes, and filter. Features. This option allows you to specify the name of the data layer from which to query features. It requires four inputs for execution. Text, reference, subprocess, and vector layer. By default, the vector layer is selected. From the Choose One drop-down menu, select Top Column States layer. Attribute. This option specifies the attributes to be written in the results of the query. It's an optional parameter, and if left empty, all properties will be returned. This option is specifically useful if you only need a specific subset of data as it improves efficiency by reducing unnecessary information. In the attribute text box, type state underline name. Filter. 
This option defines the conditions that query features must satisfy to be included in the output. The filter option can be expressed in two formats, XML and CQL. Choosing between each of them lets you customize your queries. XML offers robust features for complex needs, while CQL provides a simple and readable option for straightforward queries. Here is a simple example presented in XML format. Press the Execute Process in New Page button. The output displays the state with population of less than 1 million. In addition, only the state underlying name attribute is written from the descriptive values. Let's explore another example using the SQL format. First, clear the attribute text box, then enter the filter expressions as displayed on the screen. Select the application slash zip format from the process output section. Then press the Execute Process in New Page button. After execution, you can view the results in QGIS or ArcGIS software. As you can see, only the states Arizona and Indiana meet the specified criteria. In this session, we discuss how to use the within, contains, and query analysis in the WPS Request Builder. To learn more about how to use the buffer and intersection analysis in Java Server, we recommend watching the suggested videos. Have a great day!